Part C. Find the value of Q, the value of R and the value of S. This question carries three marks. Okay, look at the Venn diagram. P of L is this whole thing. Addition of 0.13 P plus Q. But we know P of L is 0 0.4. So this 0 0.4 is equal to sum of all these things. 0 0.13 plus P. P is 0 0.12 plus Q. Make Q as the subject which is 2.5 comes here 0.15. That's the value of Q. And in the same way, you can find P of C. P of C is 0 0.3. 0 0.3 is P plus R. P is 0 0.12 plus R. So R will be 0 0.18. So we have the value of P, Q and R. We need to find S. And we know that sum of all probabilities will be add up to 1. So add everything, which is 0 0.13 plus P plus Q plus R plus S equals 1. Because when you add all the probabilities, it should be equal to 1. So you can find S from here. S is 3. 0 0.3, 0 0.4, 0 0.58, 1 minus 0 0.58, S will be 0 0.42. So that's the value of S. A student is selected at random from those who play in the school band or sing in the school choir. Part D, find the exact probability that this student has instrumental music lessons. This question carries three marks. Here in part D, we are going to apply conditional probability. It says a student is randomly selected from those who play in the student student uh, school band and those who sing in the school choir. So if you read the question carefully, it says a student is selected from B or C. It says B or C. If it says B and C, you have to put intersection. In this case, there is no intersection. So the question says or so we take B union C. That's the condition. A student is selected from this group and find the probability that the student has instrumental music lessons, which is L, right? So this is what basically they want you to find. L given B union C. You need to remember the formula for conditional probability. The formula is P of A given B is P of A intersection B over P of B. That's the formula. So in this case, the formula will be P of intersection of these two. L intersection B union C divided by P of B union C. So just apply the values here, you'll get the answer already. Now B union C is, C is this whole thing. If you look at the previous previous part, part C, it's given P of C is 0 0.3. So this whole thing is 0 0.3, P of B is 0 0.13. So if you add them, it's 0 0.43. Because these two are mutually exclusive. So if you want to find inter, uh, union, you just need to add these two sets. 0 0.13 plus this whole thing, P plus Q, P plus R, P plus R is 0.3. So you got P of uh, 0 0.43 and L intersection B union C. B union C is this whole thing, this whole C and B. And you need to look for a part, a region which is common in L, L and B union C. So if you take this L, there are two regions that are common in L and B union C, which is B, this part and this part. That's L intersection B union C. You need to be very careful when you find this. So you can just add them P plus this. P is 0 0.12. So you get 0 0.25. So you can write this 0 0.25 divided by 0 0.43. Or 25 over 43. Both are correct answers.